Hey everyone, welcome back to Modern Retro Gal. My name's JL. Today's video I'm pretty excited for because I am sharing with all of you some of my favorite hair care products. Um, I have been on a journey this year to find really good quality products for my hair to um, just kind of try and up my hair game. Now this year I did add extensions in, so it's actually quite long. Um, they're all curled, but they're very, very long right now. And these products have played well with my extensions. So these get an extensions hair care thumbs, double thumbs up. Um, so if you are looking for some new products to try out on your hair, you will want to keep watching. If you are new to my channel, hello, how's it going? So glad you found me. I hope you will stay and actually I need your help. This year I am trying to reach 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you could just do me a big old favor and click the subscribe button down below, be sure to click the bell. That way you're always notified when I upload so you will know when a new video is out. So without further ado, let's get started. And uh, I'm going to go into all of my favorite products and here we go. I am going to go in order of basically where I would use these products or when I would use these products on my hair. Um, a little uh, PSA, not PSA, what am I trying to say? Um, full disclosure, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, only one product is drugstore. I don't have it in, but I will put in a video, um, a clip or a picture. That's what I'm trying to say. I will put in a picture when we get there. But like I said um, before in my intro, I have been on a huge journey um, last year and this year to find really good products that work well for my hair. Um, I do have a video a mini series on fine hair and there's one where I have some product recommendations for fine hair. I'll put that up here somewhere in a card. Um, so you can take a look at that. The My biggest issue in that video was that a lot of products that I love are either not cruelty free, cruelty free or no longer cruelty free. And so I have been trying to find cruelty free products and I have. However, like I said, they're not drugstore. <laughs> Only one product is drugstore. Um, and to be honest, I have just not really found anything cruelty free drugstore for hair that I've really been like, this is a holy grail. I love it. Um, I'm going to keep buying it. It's like my favorite for hair. Everything you can find either at Ulta or Sephora. The great thing about those stores is if you shop them a lot, you will gain points, especially with Ulta. You can use your points for um, basically like amounts off. It starts at like $3. And so if you save up your points, you can end up getting like a good amount off the next time um, you shop for some hair products that are a little more expensive. The first thing that I want to talk about is Olaplex number three. It looks like that. This is a pre-shampoo hair strengthening and um, repair cream. So you use this before you shampoo on damp hair for at least 10 minutes. You can leave it on longer. You rinse and then you shampoo and condition. This is basically, it was created as um, an at-home treatment for if you went into the salon and got a full Olaplex treatment. However, I do think that it works really well on its own even if you don't go in the salon. It's around $25 to $27, I think, somewhere in there. I personally only need to use it um, once a week at, at the most. You can use this up to two to three times a week if you have really damaged hair. I can get away with just doing this two or three times a month. My hair isn't super damaged anymore. Um, I'm not doing bleach or any kind of high lift reds. Um, so having darker hair and not having to dye as often, um, it's just really not as damaged as it had been before. But I do really love this. And with this, I can just skip doing um, a deep conditioning like mask or treatment if I don't think that I need it because this really does enough for my hair. And it lasts through several shampoos, which is really nice. I have had this since, I don't know, the beginning of the year. Um, and I've only used about this much of it. Um, since having the extensions installed, I haven't been as regular with this. It's a little bit harder because I don't want to get it on the extensions or wear the extensions attached to my hair because um, it can cause them to slip and slide because my hair is finer. So um, 
I haven't been using it as much, but when I do, I usually just use it on the top section of my natural hair that um, below or above where the extensions are installed. But I really love it. Um, it's made such a huge difference in my hair when I use it really regularly. My hair is just, it has better texture. It actually has some texture <laughs> instead of being like so baby fine. Um, it's just like, thicker and fuller and um it's kind of like what my hair should be like so I'm a big fan of the Olaplex family of products next up is my regular shampoo and conditioner these run about I think 16 or 18 dollars I get it at Ulta this is from Verb I really like this brand I'm actually going to be getting their spray in um, their spray leave-in conditioner. I just ran out of a leave-in conditioner and I've been enjoying the shampoo and conditioner so much that I decided that I'm going to go ahead and switch over to that. I use the volume shampoo. I actually like the ghost shampoo and conditioner better, but um, this is like my second favorite. So if you don't need like a lot of like a heavy moisture one or a repair one, the volume one is going to be really good, especially for fine hair. Um, it's color safe. These are, um, everything is cruelty free. Most of it is vegan. You'll have to like double check for vegan um, things, but I just really, really like this. The It does have a fragrance, but it is a very um, like slight fragrance. So if you're fragrance sensitive, I think this will probably still work for you. I originally got the hydrating conditioner to just like put on the ends of my extensions when I do wash them just to have like extra like detangling slip on it because um, I'm just not used to having this much hair. This is probably too much for my natural hair. I like the Ghost um, shampoo and conditioner because it cleanses really well, but it has a very lightweight conditioning. So it gives you that feel of like a really like soft, like hydrated shampoo and conditioner, but it's really lightweight. It's amazing the way they did it. I highly recommend it. So this I will probably keep and just use um, on my natural hair as like a deep conditioner. The reason I'm saying this is because I do have to get my extensions taken out this month. I need to go and have an MRI done. It's just an annual checkup for my multiple sclerosis. It's nothing like scary. I'm used to it now, um, but they can't do an MRI while I have extensions in my hair. Just as an FYI for everyone out there, if you do get extensions and you ever have a head injury and they say we need to do an MRI on you, tell them I have extensions. Please don't do an MRI on me because it will either um, rip out your hair, burn your scalp, or other things. It's just not a good thing. Now we are going to get into maintenance, um, styling products, I guess you could say. So first up is from Amika. This I believe has been reformulated a little bit, so I'm excited to try the new one. This is their bombshell blowout spray. Um, I think it is now called the Brooklyn bombshell spray or something like that. Um, the bottle is purple. So if you're looking for it, it's like a purple bottle. This is just a really lightweight spray that I put on my hair before I blow dry my hair. Having extensions, you have to blow dry your hair. Um, it's just, it's, it's a must. <laughs> um, but this is really lightweight. It gives you some nice volume, a little bit of hold some heat protected, a little bit of um, texture to the hair, but it's so super lightweight that it doesn't um, leave your hair feeling like sticky or like you have product in it if you go a few days without using it, which is what I love. A lot of times I find that like blowout sprays or texturizing sprays that you use and then blow dry your hair or air dry it, I can just like feel it in my hair and after a day or two, it's just like greasy and gross towards the scalp. I don't get that from this. The other cool thing about this product is if your hair needs a little bit of a style refresh, you can spray this on it and it will help to kind of refresh whatever style you have going on. Another product that I got that I absolutely love and I think it is a must if you have 
thick, tangly hair. I got it because of the extensions, but I would definitely continue using it on my regular hair because it does such a good job um, of just making your hair look really like shiny and healthy. This is from Color Wow. It is the Dream Coat Spray. I know it's all chromed out. It looks like this. They also have one that is specifically for curly hair. So if you have naturally very curly hair, there is a version of this that is specifically for that. You spray this on your hair. It says to spray generously um, on towel dry hair. It says spray liberally. Then you're going to want to, um, what is it? Blow dry your hair. Blow drying it activates the ingredients in this. It leaves your hair super shiny, really soft, really smooth, no frizz, no tangles, and it lasts, it says three to five shampoos. So if you're only shampooing your hair a few times a week, this can, like one treatment usually lasts me a couple of weeks before I feel like I need to go in and do it again. Um, I kind of generally use like how frizzy and tangly the um, extensions are feeling after like moving around and styling and all that kind of thing. Um, once it's, I start to feel like it in the middle section, it's getting really tingly um, more often, then I'm like, it's time to use this again. But it's really great, I really like it. I am curious to try other um, styling products from this brand. For those in-between shower, shampoo shower days, um, I love the IGK First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. I have tried and tried and tried to find something more cost effective than this, but I cannot find anything that matches this one. It is just worth it. I absolutely love it. Fine hair girls are going to adore this because it gives a nice good grit and texture to your, to your roots. Um, and it really like cleans and helps reseparate each strand, which if you have fine hair and it gets oily or greasy or sweaty you know what I'm talking about um and I think it just works really really well it's specifically for oily hair and scalp so if you have um thicker oily hair this is going to work really great for me too yes it does leave a white cast I try to pull my hair up and really get it underneath um and kind of get it all up in there instead of spraying it directly on top. But sometimes I do. So yes, yeah, sometimes um, by the end of the space when I'm gonna shampoo my hair, um, again, my hair does look a little bit lighter on top because of all of the dry shampoo, um, but it just works. And for me, I'm willing to like brush it out and deal with a little bit of like lightening at the roots and white casts and all that kind of thing because it works so well. It's worth every penny. I absolutely love it. Next up is another product from um, IGK. And when I first saw this product, I thought I was going to skip over it and tell the stylist who does my extensions used it. And then I realized how much it's amazing and I love it. This is the Good Behavior Spirulina Protein Smoothing Spray. I get the small ones um, just to try things out and make sure that I really do like it. But I don't use this a lot or a ton of it. Um, so whether I get the small or the large size, it's fine with me. Um, she used this prior to curling my extensions the last time I got it done and she sprayed it all over it. And I was like, oh, this is amazing. So it is, um, it, it is a heat activated spray. You don't have to use heat with it though. You can just kind of spray it in your hair anytime you're feeling a little bit like frizzy or tingly. Um, and it works great. It also has heat protection in it. So this is my heat protector and it just feels so good on the hair. Um, I just love it. I love the way my hair ends up, ends up feeling afterwards. I have never had found a heat protectant before this to where my hair just felt like nice and soft and fluffy afterwards, but not frizzy. Um, so this is just like a really good heat protectant defrizzing spray. You can actually, I think you can use it on wet or dry hair. Yeah, you can use this wet or dry. Um, absolutely love it. This is like one of those products where I thought, nah, I'm not going to like it. It's not really worth it. And when she used it on my extensions, I was like, have to have it. Have to have it. 
last, oh, not last because one of the products I have, I don't have, but I will talk about it. Um, second to the last is another product from Amika. This is called Undone. This is the volume matte and texture spray. Again, I have a small one. It looks like this. I don't use a ton of it when I'm using it. So, and I don't necessarily need it every day. A lot of these styling products I only use when I feel like my hair needs it. This is really great at adding volume and texture to the hair when it's feeling a little bit flat. I like to spray it on the underside of my bangs and then um, restyle them when they're not really doing what I want them to do. Um, I will spray this all around the crown section just to give more volume if I feel like it's getting a little bit flat. Um, it doesn't feel sticky. It doesn't feel greasy on the hair after a while because it is a matte texture spray. You don't get that sort of, I feel like it just, it like separates the strands because it's more matte and it's not like a high shine product. You know, when you have like a kind of a heavier, um, hairspray and it kind of gives that like nice matte, um, effect and then you kind of like brush through it and it kind of like separates everything again. That's what this does, but it's lighter weight. It doesn't have that heavy, crunchy feeling like a hairspray. It's just nice and light on the hair, but it really kind of like separates everything out, fluffs it up, gives it a nice texture and volume. It's just a great product. If you're looking for a texturizing and volumizing product, this is this is the one, this is what you want to use on your hair. Last but certainly not least is my favorite hairspray. It is from the drugstore. It is by Cake Beauty, I believe what it is. I'm going to put up a photo of it. Um, I just love this hairspray. I think it's really great. It holds really well, but, um, it's not like a stiff, heavy, crunchy, which is not what I need for every day. Um, when I'm wearing my hair down, it does a good job of smoothing and keeping things up when I do have my hair up, but it's not like that crazy, heavy, crunchy, like style set hairspray where if you use it on your hair, like that is the only way you're going to be able to wear your hair until you wash it again. Um, it's just really nice. You can comb through it. You can restyle. You can use it to refresh a style. It's just a really great versatile um, hairspray. And the best part is, um, yes, it is cruelty free. Also, it smells like a vanilla cupcake. Um, so your hair will smell like a vanilla cupcake, which if you don't like vanilla cupcakes, I don't I don't know what to tell you, um, but you won't like that hairspray. I don't think it lasts a super long time, but it's just like, if you love the smell of cupcakes and frosting, you will like this um, hairspray. I don't know what I'm saying. I keep losing my train of thought. If this video is all over the place, I'm so sorry. Um, I don't know what's happening. Um, the kids started making noise and just threw me all off, all off my game now. Um, but yeah, so that is it. Those are my favorite hair care products. Um, let me know if there are any that you are excited to give a try. Um, if you do end up trying any of it, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of it. I hope you find something that works for you. The great thing about these brands with, um, at least with Verb, Olaplex, and IGK, even if you, or Verb, Amica, and IGK, um, even if you maybe don't necessarily like love the exact product that I recommended. They have a lot of different products that you will probably be able to find something that works really well for your hair. So that's it. That is it for me. Um, I've got a lot to do. My bestie Jennifer is going to come up. I'm so excited. I can't believe it. It's been almost two years since we've seen each other. Um, so be sure to follow us on social media. Um, I will have that linked down below. Um, you can follow along on our shenanigans. It's going to be fun. I get to show around where we live here in Santa Cruz. And then we are going to be doing a little two day trip to San Francisco before she has to go home. So we're very, very excited. Um, so that is it for me. I hope you all are doing really great. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.